So, here we are in my bathroom. This is the setup I have for the chicks. So, right here, um, we have the light, which is drawing quite a bit of power on our solar batteries. So, we might have to find another way. But I know they like to be under something. So when I first got them, I just put them in here earlier today, but I knew they needed something bigger. So I put this on here so that they can go underneath if they want to feel safe and secure. And then over on this side, if they want to cool off, they have their food and their water. I can buy don't Look at those big feet. Aww. If we luck out and get a hen and a rooster, um, we are going to keep a hen and a rooster, maybe two hens and a rooster, so that we can breed out our own meat birds in the future and not have to depend on um, the hatchery. Who knows, maybe I can create my own little meat market <laughs> by keeping a couple hens and a rooster um, yeah so anywho that is going to be it for night one I'm probably gonna be a nervous mama and be up checking on these guys making sure it's not too hot and I have to already fill their food they're already eating a lot and every single one of them I've witnessed drinking and eating so that's good so far none of them look off it is bright and early the next morning and we're gonna go and check on the chicks. We did discover that um, they couldn't have the light um, that I had because of where they are. It heated up the whole bathroom um, and it made the area to 110 degrees within a matter of 20 minutes so um, they did not have that overnight <laughs> so what I did was I took I have some boiling water and put it into um, a coffee it's not even a coffee holder um, it's like a thermos for hot lunches and I put um, hot boiling water in there and it warmed up real quick and then I put a sock around it to kind of hold in some of the temperature as well um, and so I got up five hours from when I filled it with hot water and it's still warm but we're gonna boil up some more water let's go and check it They're all still chirping so that's a good sign Hi guys. There you go. This is what I I used. Let's see. Oh, it's still warm, so that's good. So what I'm gonna do is boil up some more water and put it in there so that they have some more warmth. And what I think I'm gonna do going forward, I didn't want to do it overnight because I wanted to monitor to see how warm it got was I have a heating pad that um, I can turn on 24 hour mode. The sun just came up it's super early in the morning. I couldn't fall asleep last night because I was a worried mama. So I think I'm running on four or five hours sleep. So I've had a minute to wake up. Um, I'm gonna go out and let the new birds and the goats out so let's go see how they did on their first night <laughs>
These white ones are bullies. They're trying to establish their order. Even the rooster's afraid of them. Hi, ladies. You got this. Come on. <laughs> Good job, guys. Come on. You got this. If I were to just... No. Not yet. Okay. The white birds can be bullies. The rooster does not do his job and is chicken. He's chicken of me. He's chicken of the white azure blues, which are these ones right here. Um... He doesn't like them. I have yet to hear him crow. So I guess that's good. My favorites are probably this girl right here. She's beautiful. And then this girl right here. They are both beautiful. <laughs> The azure blues are the only one laying right now. Actually, there's a couple eggs. I'm leaving the eggs in there just like I did with the other chickens to let them know that that's where they have to lay their eggs. So far, there's one of the two who do lay their eggs up there. So I'm really happy with that. I'm not super impressed with the chickens themselves. They tend to be a little bit bullyish. Um, and the other chickens just, it's usually those two chickens off on one side. And the other four, they usually stick together. Of course, now they're making a liar out of me. Hmm? But they're all beautiful. I will say this, though. The white ones, the azure blues is what they're called. They let me pet them last night when we put them to bed for a good minute or two. So, right now, this is our setup. They have more than doubled in size. Um, they're doing so good. Hi. Can you say hi, everybody? Here, we'll put you right here. Stay here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
They are doing so good. Hi. Are you chirping? I am your mama. It's okay. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's go put you back. So they are going through about two jars of this every single day and I just filled it. They are quite messy so we're going to go to the feed store tomorrow on Monday and I'm going to see if I can get a little bit bigger. This was just a bird feeder that I got for outdoors but I'm using it for the chickens and then I'm going to look to see if I can get another waterer because at least, I don't know, eight times a day I'm emptying the shavings that are in there and I'm having to fill it two or three times. So um, They are currently just in my kitchen. So during the day we keep them here with the light and it hits anywhere from 95 to 100 degrees. So they have the option to go down to the other end if it's not warm enough. But at nighttime, we actually use, let me turn the camera around. We actually use a heating pad and then we cover a blanket over top of here um, to trap in the heat that this is giving and just to keep some of the heat in. And then we also put like a little metal bowl so that they can huddle around it because the metal bowl retains the heat. Um, so there's some chicks that stay on it. There's some chicks that stay around it, but usually it stays between 85 and 90. So it's not as warm as during the day, but they seem to be fine. All 16 birds so far are live and well. They are still a little skittish when they see people, but um, they kind of duck and run and, and whew, that's a bright sun, do their little chirp. All right, out you guys go.